What's up guys, I'm Rissam from RustMertech.com and this is another tutorial in PHP programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about another super global variable called underscore server. So what is underscore server? Underscore server is a super global variable. Since it's a super global variable it can access files anywhere in the program. There are no limitations, right? And I'll show you how it works. Let's first start off by uh, using the echo command. We're going to echo something on the screen now and I want to echo out the super global variable uh, underscore server so let's type it in we gotta use a dollar sign underscore and we have to type in server all cap c-e-r-v-e-r -E -E right open and close bracket right end it with a semicolon inside this open and close bracket we gotta have a set of single quotes right so in this set of single quotes we're gonna type in a element this is a server element, and there are lots of them. But I'm, I'm going to show you guys the three most popular ones, and then I'll show you a link where you can find the rest of them. But the first element is php underscore self. Right? I want to hit uh, save. I'm going to open the browser. I'm going to hit refresh, and I got an error message. Let's see what happened. All right, I see what happened again. <laughs> The, this element has to be all in caps here, so it should be a capital F. The actual uh, variable name has to be all in caps as well. So let's hit save again. I want to hit refresh. As you can see, it worked. Uh, this PHP underscore self showed us our self, which is a uh, PHP file that's on our local server, right? So let's try another one. Let's try server name. So let, it's again. Since it's an element, it has to be capital, so capital S-E-R-V-E-R, -E underscore, capital name, right? Let's hit, sorry, capital name. Let's hit save, right? I'm going to hit refresh, and it printed out the name of the server, which is localhost, right? So, again, let's try another one. Let's try HTTP underscore host, right? Let's type it in. Again, all caps, H, T, T, P, underscore, capital host, H, O, S, T, right? Let's hit save. I'm going to open up the browser here. I'm going to hit refresh. And it's localhost again, basically. So let's try one more. Let's try H, T, T, P, underscore, user, underscore, agent, right? So let's open up our text editor here. Let's delete this. And I'm going to type in all caps again, HTTP underscore, right? All in caps, user underscore again, and agent, all in caps. All right. So again, it's user, I'm sorry, again, it's HTTP underscore user underscore agent. Let's hit save. I want to hit refresh. And this will basically just print out the browsers that are supported with this uh, test.php file here and basically all of the Mozilla Firefox is here we got Chrome here and we got Safari so that's pretty much it again let's start from the beginning this is a super global variable right underscore capital server is a super global variable which means it can access certain files anywhere in the program no limitations right and uh, along with this variable we have elements, right? Like, and this HTTP underscore user underscore agent is a element, right? There are a lot of elements you can use. And I'm going to open up a uh, link here. Uh, if you go to uh, www.w3school.com slash php slash php underscore super global that ASP, uh, over here you'll find all the different elements that will work with this uh, super global variable underscore server. So these are all the different ones you can use. And that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossFartech.com and thanks for watching.